the water gen booth. Amazing. See that water gen unit up on top of the camper? Would you like to be in control of your water supply and never have to make another trip for those plastic water bottles? I sure would. We're going to hear more about that from Nick Harris, who's here with WaterGen, telling us about this yes. new offering. So this is actually a, a pretty fun application for atmospheric water generation. And it's actually in partnership with Camping World, and that they, they helped us with this integration. And what we were really trying to bring to this growing, burgeoning segment of you know off-grid um, RV folks and campers was to completely have an independent water source for your, for your campers. So what you just saw there was the, the, the outside component, basically the heat exchanger and the clever part of the water gen system. Um, but I'm going to walk you through and show you how it looks inside the camper so you can at least get an idea oh, of that'd be awesome, what, what that looks like. So. We're going camping. God's water. <laughs> so it's actually a, a pretty discreet system inside. So we have a, a screen here, and, and again, it's, it's probably not final, final in terms mm -hmm. of the UX, but the, the RV or, or the camper owner will have full access to the water level. You can actually see the water level. It's been making water today, even in this this dry hall, so it's at 39 percent it gives you your temperature and your humidity so at least you can kind of get an idea and there's there's some screens in here that i'm not sure i'm going to touch right now because i'm going to get into the technical screen but uh, this communicates to the uh, to the user what's going on with the system um, so the, you have basically the atmospheric water generation part of it outside which is the heat exchanger where warm moist laden air is coming in and then that actually comes down into uh, under the sink. Unfortunately, I can't show you the, and it's not for secret reasons, but they've actually paneled the uh, the, the area. But behind here is, and I can't take it off, it's screwed mm -hmm. in unfortunately, yeah. but behind here is, is the filter cascade and the water storage um, area. And, and it goes through uh, a standard filter set. And then the water literally comes out of this spigot right here. In fact, you can just hear the, uh, the pump. Perfect. Um, right. Motor like that. So, so this this unit um, would create, um, depending on exactly where you were, about forty liters of fresh clean drinking water. A good ten day. gallons. Yeah. Yeah. So you know it's probably not enough to shower and bathe in, but it's certainly enough for um, your standard water needs in a uh, cooking, cooking right, and drinking, all that sort of drinking, filling the coffee sponge maker, sponge bath, yeah, yeah making so, uh, uh, making whatever you do, ice cubes and stuff fun. like that. Yeah. yeah, so so it's a it's a good application. It's it's one that we're pretty excited about, and uh, this would be a, an aftermarket affair. So you could store, you could actually have this installed in your RV after it. So it's not an OEM um, type of equipment. So and that's it. Water gen on board. <laughs> wow, love it, Nick. Can't wait. To <laughs>